Mm. Howdy folks, it's Monday, it's new tool day, but this is one of those tools that if you don't have one, it's like, you know, I sure could use one every once in a while. I run into stuff that I could really, you know, get into some small electronic repairs, or, you know, things like that. Or in this case, I've also got a, a small coin here and I can't get the data off the coin, but uh, it's just, it, I had a camera come in last year and it needed some electronic repairs and checks on things and everything was so, you know, electronics these days, it's so tiny. It was like, I really needed like an electronic microscope to get in there and take a good look. And I looked around a little bit and I didn't really see what to buy. So this is cool because today we're gonna to look at a digital microscope that has applications from looking at small coins, rocks, plants, bio stuff, and uh, doing electronic repairs. Eesh, let's get started. Yeah, we're gonna jump right in. Here's the Joy Allen. It's all set up. It took about maybe 10 minutes to put this thing together, assemble it, get it ready, plug it in, and turn the power on. And in this case, we have a penny. Uh, this was one of those backyard finds. I do metal detecting and every once in a while. And I unfortunately got this coin and I could not get the date off of it. And I kept looking at it and thinking, I can't read it, I can't read it. Well, I got it under the Joy Allen microscope and now we can see clearly why I can't read the date on that thing. I'll just take the pencil here for a second and bop the coin around a little bit. But you can see, yeah, it's, it's smooshed up and it's been eaten up by uh, <clears throat> the elements uh, in the ground, probably fertilizers and whatever else happened. Uh, I've got quite a collection of little coins like this that, you know, over time they've come in and some of them are really badly beat up. But this is just one, I like to say, of many, many, many different applications. When it comes to uh, a microscope like this, this thing is awesome. It has three lenses, so you can use different lenses for different applications, which I thought was, that's pretty terrific. In fact, I'll tell you right now, I'm not actually using the lens that theoretically you should probably use for the coins, but I've got um, quite a bit, I've got enough power here, obviously, to see what I'm doing. The unit comes really, really simple assembly, really nothing to it. But it also comes with a remote and it does pictures and or video. Well, obviously it does video. We're looking at it right now, right? Cool. Well, let's talk about the machine. Uh, obviously it comes with this. This is the smaller of the two, I believe. Yeah, this is the seven, I think a seven and a half inch screen, but it's a nice clear monitor that you can see easily. It also comes with a mini HDMI to a big HDMI port, so you could tie it into like a large monitor or something if you wanted a, you know, really the big screen thing. But uh, also has these two little LED lights that are fully adjustable. And as you change the lighting around and stuff, you can see better on certain coinage or whatever it is you're looking at. And that's great for coins or working on electronics. If you're working on like bio type stuff, it also includes glass slides. Now the glass slides go on top of this little guy right here, which has a, a light underneath it, which will light up through. This is more like your old style uh, microscope at that point where you have an under light, and that way you can really look down at, uh, if you wanna see the hair on the back of a bee, you know, you can, you can see it with this. And this, this goes up in here, you know, and you adjust the height, and of course this plugs in to a unit as well to get that backlighting going on. What a cool little item it is. And it's got this great little adjustment so you can go up and down. And also you can focus up the front here. Three different lenses. It's just a unique piece of equipment that uh, around the shop sometimes, something like this will really make a difference. And you know, you can even, you can go down even closer if you want and then focus your lens in. So we'll make this, uh, see if we can get this coin back to focus there, look at that. So you can really pick off details in a coin and I'm just using coins for an example, but uh, rocks, minerals, jewelry, something like that, where you need to take a really good close look at something, this is ideal for that situation. And also the kids, of course, it would be a great learning tool for the kids to use, play with a microscope, but look at the simplicity of it, it's really nice. Comes with a USB adapter, which is on a little outlet plug, you can plug in the wall, then plug your USB in, but you also have a nice little uh, remote here, I guess we'll call it remote, for turning the power on and off. And the other thing you can do is also you have this little remote here, which puts some batteries in it. And this will allow you to, you know, you can easily, you know, zoom in, zoom out a little bit, and you can take pictures, uh, turn the lights on and off. And there's just a lot of features here with the little remote, which is, you know, cool. And it also came with a little uh, micro SD card or TF card, as they like to call them. Uh, 32 gigabyte, so it can record some pretty long video or something if that's what you need. This is the uh, 
motherboard out of the camera, the digital camera, and you can see with using some device, well, using this particular scope, I can go through all the ICs, I can look at everything on that board and see, check all the soldering connections, check all, just everything over the board. And what we're looking for might be a you know a black spot or some damage or something that happened that caused the camera to fail. Plus some of these bad uh, <clears throat> soldering connections here that are not very pretty. Uh, and then we come up on this right here and it's like, whoa, it's like, yeah, okay, there's the problem, obviously. Now normally, with just a pair of even some strong glasses or a magnifying glass, you really can't see this very well, but right here, you can look at that. That is where the uh, flat cable would come in and connect, and you can see it's damaged really badly. It's all tore up pretty bad. I don't know what happened, but uh, this is just a good example of, you know, what you can see or with something like this. You can also see some dust and damage, of course, laying around. The uh, soldering joint's not very good. Just some spotty spots, but that's, you know, the whole thing is this tells me the board is just absolute trash. It's a shame. This is about a $300 motherboard for a uh, GH5, as a matter of fact, camera. And you can see that the problems with a GH5 is, you know, that's, that's probably just, that's all of it right there. That's the whole story, I believe. But uh, there's the SD card slot. You can see how big it looks under something like this. That gives you a good, you know, feel of scale as to what I'm looking at. Just imagine, here's your SD, that's where your SD card goes in. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what a great thing. And this would have saved me, I hate to say it, but it would have saved me hundreds of dollars just being able to do this uh, last year when that camera came in. Look at the way that thing was mounted. <laughs> that's interesting. But uh, this one, this one here looks, well, that one looks okay. So it technically, uh, no, I'm not going to do it, but uh, at this point anyways, but I could you know, desolder all of this and remove that component and actually install a new one, but I would have to use a device like this in order to do it. Let's face it, I, there's just no other way I could do it without something like a, you know, scope of this type. Yes, it's it's cold today, but uh, <laughs> there's uh, that would have saved me about $300 worth of wasted time on a motherboard if, if I had this device, so it would have paid for itself in one, one job. Uh, another thing I've got going on here is if you're into 3D printing, these nozzles, they are so tiny. Something like this would probably help me to see if there's a problem, especially if you have a clogged nozzle. They are so hard to look at. Or if a nozzle is wearing out, uh, something like this would probably be able to look into the nozzle uh, itself. And you may or may not be able to see it. So I'm going to put a nozzle on here for a second. I'm just going to tell you about it. But uh, I've got a nozzle set up. Wow. Okay. Sheesh. I, uh, I can actually look at the tip of the nozzle where the, yep, and it's got blue PLA stuffed into it too, as a matter of fact. Isn't that fascinating? But I can actually look at this and see that the nozzle, wow, it's a mess, and it's really clogged up. And, you know, so, yeah, even if you're just doing 3D printing and you're trying to look at some small stuff, freaking, you know, this is, this is an awesome microscope for that kind of thing. And here's another one here. Let's see. Take a look at this one. This one looks great. Yeah, this this tip looks just fine. And of course, uh, on these three D printed tips is the size. If you've ever tried to read those, it's like, <laughs> yeah, you'd be uh, you're you're hard pressed for it. So I'm gonna take a look at this one. Just see if it has the size on it, which is hopefully it's stamped on here. So there it is. And this is a point six nozzle. I wouldn't have known that yesterday, you know? <laughs> but I can I can see it now <laughs> in these little tiny letters. It says point six. So, yeah. So there's a lot of different uh, applications, I guess, with the Joy Allen, you know, digital microscope. It is just a cool tool, and that's really what this is about today: is the awesomeness and. Not that expensive, really, uh, and just so many features, so many possibilities, the applications from, like say, the jewelry, the, uh, the coins. If you're into metal detecting or any sort of thing like that where you like to look at you know, metal coins and you're looking for a deviation in coin, anything like that, something like this would make uh, the hobby or the interest a heck of a lot easier, a lot more fun, I would think. Or if you have kids and you want to get them off those cell phones for a minute, maybe you get them on a microscope and show them what the tiny world looks like around us. It, this is actually, a, I think it's such a simple and easy one to use that uh, I highly say that, yeah, you know, kudos to uh, Joy Allen for coming up with a unit like this because it just offers a, it's simplistic and yet it's 
it's very, very, very much a scientific piece of equipment. How awesome is that? <laughs> you know? It's about 30 degrees in here right now, so we're going to call this one uh, a done deal. But uh, I thank you, Joy Allen, for selling, sending this over to us for review. Uh, we had uh, a lot of uh, fun with it so far. Since it got here, we have looked at a lot of small stuff, and it's been really cool and very interesting. Yeah, crash. Here's the here's the box it came in, right here. And there are different models. Some of them have a larger screen, that sort of thing. But uh, this particular one here, there'll be a link in the description below where you can find this one. I invite you to you know go take a look at it. The uh, digital microscope world is something that just when it comes to tools, it's just another one of those you know it's something that's kind of handy around the workshop thing. Something you might not think about, but once you have it, it's like, man, this makes life so much easier when you can work, especially on small stuff like electronics these days. Yep. And, okay. And thank you so much for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell. I'm out of here and over and out.